Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Nigga! And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. 
Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know, I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger, but over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible, but she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Alex, sweetheart. You know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But struggling alone... No. You shouldn't have to go through that. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. 
All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. How about you? I heard you out last night. You know the deal. Please. You're a cop. You can do something. Alex, just... just give it up. You coward. <clears throat> Why are you doing this? My dad is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. You know, when we were kids, we goofed around to escape, to pretend everything was better for a little while. When I got to Haven, the first thing we did was dance around like total dorks. And it wasn't an escape from anything. He was happy for the first time in his life. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. 
I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye but you couldn't muster the courage to admit the mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I condemn you. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations.
Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. After what I went through, the middle of the ocean might not be so bad. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. Nothing like being called delusional by someone you trusted. That one really hurt. He left it on the landing outside. He still can't even look at me. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chen? John, and no. But I, I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Chad must have thought he was seeing a ghost the first time Gabe walked in. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Good thing I sold off all my Typhon stock. I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is, is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truths. They say I was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil and these. Was Charlotte's response all my fault? Or would she have turned on me no matter what? I felt very close to Ducky after our dance. I guess he felt the same way. two days, trying to think things through, but I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing is the only time I get to not think, not think about Jed or Gabe or being betrayed and wanting to forgive but not knowing if I can.
most of all, what I don't think about is me. Because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. So, I just keep playing. The LARP was two days ago? That doesn't seem possible. I want to go outside without seeing anyone. That's why God created rooftops. Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. When it comes to haunted mines, this game beats real life every time. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here too. You ripped your bus ticket. <laughs> I can get another one. Or not. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm in. For whatever you want. You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. 
course. That was before all this shit went down. <laughs> Come on. You're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, and despite what happened at the vote, people that actually care about you. Why would you give that up? That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. Sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. Top is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. 
Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it, you don't doubt it, or wonder what might have been. It's your life, the life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course, you already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? I know what I want.
Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen.